for S4. Well, the main, they're going to go in looking for a first blood. Avalanche to start things off. There's going to be a toss from Envy. Where's he going to throw this one? But Zai is looking to fight the toss directly up. And Zai wants to call on Big Dave. No tail, but he's kiting this perfectly. But he gets the spin. Needs another great nightmare timing from Misery. And Envy has a toss. He's going to get the first blood. Great start to this game for Cloud9. Really well kited there. And just good execution. Yeah, it was fun. Like his farm now. Catching up to the tiny balls, Shadow Queen 2 were uh, kind of outlast hitting him. But just getting a lot more kills out of that. Top lane relocating. They're going to bring down the silencer. And that's Kuro. who have been kind of taking over the farm in that top lane. So I guess in theory may have not got the kill anyways. Although he did use it way too early. With the haste he wants to chase down RTC even further. The second race is going to miss as RTC jukes into the trees. And now possibly a turnaround from Secret. They've lost this for the start things off though. Envy with a blink tag, he goes blinking in, misses the avalanche though, now he's in too deep, four heroes around him, two hero battle call from Zai, he wants in, but the skewer in to an RP, but no, there's no RP, Bone Seven's not even level six, Artiz is going to pop the ultimate, the toss is going to finish him off though, Envy brings down the young prodigy and Cloud9 going to lose their magnets in the meantime, Barton looking to throw more raises, hits a few, but not one raise away from dying, S4 comes back after dying, gets an orb into a waning Riften. Secret winning this juke fight battle for Barb and Avalanche hits two. Followed up by one reckless. Has a toss in a couple of seconds here. Kuro now in all sorts of trouble. The Shadow Fiend gets thrown forward. There's no matter for a raise, but doesn't matter. C9 get another kill. RTZ meanwhile can kill the first time just with a big item in Vandal. Well, another Avalanche toss. Gonna hit two. Immediate kill on the ventral for an S4. Gonna fall. Is he gonna go for the jaw? Does go past, but the raise from Bata. Perfectly placed in time. Oh, relocate. Arteezy's been found. He's going to shapeshift, but it may not be able to get off. The avalanche toss is there, and Arteezy gets slam dunked, and Puppy in trouble as well. Here comes S4, but the Dream Coil may save there. Puppy, not going to get caught out just yet. It's S4. It's safe to go down to the toss. No phase shift available, and he wants Puppy as well. The chase is on. Global Silence comes out, but that's not going to save the Ventral Group. Triple kill for Eternal Emmy. He wants more. They're going to go chasing, it looks like. Link Dagger available soon. Blink Dagger in one second, the Avalanche could reach if he can get a bit close enough, and it, oh, it gets stopped by Kuro, the Blink Call is there as well, and then get pulled into the tier 3 tower, no buybacks available, otherwise maybe something you would have considered using to try and ruin NB's streak, he's on a Beyond God-like streak, but Blink's in with a the call, they want to bring down the Big Daddy No-Tail Wisp here, but Zai is just too squishy, he's going to be brought down if he's not careful, the toss is not there, one more right click, Mata gets the kill, MB meanwhile gets himself his 11th kill, the Fiend Script going to get dealt with by the Summoned Wolves here, it's a 3 for 1 so far, and Bata kept alive by a fantastic RP. Secret gonna lose their whole team at this rate. RTZ looking to escape. Whispers come back into the fight here. Bata just gonna throw a casual Requiem of Souls as S4 is bought back into the trees. He's looking for the TP out. Is there anything to cancel? This doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, RTZ like it. Gets found. Envy with another kill. He's up to 4,000 gold. He bought his Ag Scepter um, two minutes ago. This is more or less already over for a secret they are play. They will, they're not going to go in. The, the Lycan Wolves have, have been seen by the Sentry Wards and Vata. We'll bring him down. MB blinks in. Avalanche catches up too. There's a relocate as well. Wiz could be the first target though. He kind of relocates into three heroes. The RT is going to get right clicked down. S4 goes in with a reigning grip. The global silence time with it. And Kuro on the high ground. Managed to help bring down the Wispy, but the shockwave from Magnus shreds him apart. And Tiny now gets another for his trophy collection. Tiny's just out of control. S4 gets gripped and I wouldn't be surprised just to see a GG call at this point. No Rex and Queen claim, but this game one is just out of control. Ray's coming, Envy's gonna come back in with him. Envy cannot afford to die himself. Global silence is gonna be used. They kill the Wiz to start things off. Envy just cleaving over the ancient. Almost killed off the puck. One more cleave, he doesn't throw the ancient! What a play! He's got Aegis as well. He's not even worried about dying here. The wolf just canceled his blink dagger on one killing. But he doesn't care, it's Bata with a beyond godlike streak as well! They have two heroes, I think that's the first time in a lot of tournaments. Uh, Ten. Like I said, and he's gonna end the game, he doesn't even have a blink. Oh my god, this well, is super ugly. And he finds one more, Puppy throws in the towel, GG is called. And this, this game was just is the most one-sided defeat we've seen for Secret. We haven't seen them lose very often, but this is a loss with a big message. This is Cloud9 saying, this is a series. You guys are going to have to show up and do something different to beat us. The adjustment that uh, C9 made was very good. This game with the last pick, Shadow Fiend, changed, changed up a lot of their strategies, their laning wise, laning phase as well. Like, like the stats man mentioned, this is the first time in nine, 11 months, which is almost a year, that Fata has played Shadow Fiend. And 